Hi Aquarius, this is your December reading. I will be making the finance and the love reading this week as well, um, shortly after I've done this one. And I'm using Deva Copperfield, uh, or Charles Dickens, sorry, um, tarot. And I'm using the Orion Animal Tarot. Okay, so this was given to me by um, Santa Claus and so uh, I hope you enjoy the review that is being uploaded whilst I'm making this video. I'm back. Uh, I'm sorry that I have been away, uh, but I've got a cracked rib and I've been in a lot of pain. Let that said, welcome back and I hope you will enjoy. Please do subscribe and hit on the bell so that we can get and share so that we can get the monetization, the super chats back as soon as possible. I need 4,000 minutes watch time and the rest I have been qualified for. So uh, please do sh uh, share and like. The yearlies are out if you haven't watched your yearlies yet and, and use that every month and compare it to the readings next year. The readings of 2023 are, are out there so you can compare December or November or any other month um, with your general readings as well. Okay, so we come in with the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands means um, good luck. Seven is luck. So it does blow, blow it in more into a positive uh, vibe because the Seven of Wands means stand your ground. You might feel that you have to protect yourself. Yes, protect yourself, but you don't have to justify yourself, especially to family and friends. They should support you. Also, you have the world. What goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. The world is your oyster. You might feel on top of the world at the moment. And if not, you if you take charge and back control, the control back, then you will be on top of the world. You could be even doing research on the web or um, ex uh, expanding because this card does mean expansion either in career or in romance. So definitely going on to the next level, getting engaged, getting married, starting a family, expanding the family, or getting a wage rise, a promotion, or even a company car. You could be traveling for work, or you could be going on holiday or moving home. Or if you've got a business, you could be moving the business and expanding the business. You could also be meeting or dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, or an Aquarius. If it isn't a person, it could be a time frame. Um, so definitely I think things will be improving for you with the all over energy between now and uh, at the end of Aquarius. Um, definitely let's have a look. Um, you could also um, be receiving karma if you've done good or bad. If somebody else has done you bad or good, especially with the seven of wands here, they will get their karma. Wow. If you don't want to get pregnant, then take precautions. If you're too mature, you could be he hearing that somebody in the family or friends circle is giving birth or expecting or getting married or getting engaged. Again, this card does represent celebrations. So that's the all over energy and number 21 becomes a three. So stay productive and uh, creative. You've also got the three of uh, wands here. The three of wands means that plans are coming to fruition. Abundance is on its way. So this is confirming the world. And it is um, definitely the negative side of the Seven of Wands, making it not that bad. I think you will rise above it. You know, you know that what you want and that you hold the key to your life's path and your life's force. Also with the Three of Wands, we have the Death card. So this is telling me and also confirming the world that there is an end of a phase and a new beginning. You are in transition and transforming into a stronger version of yourself. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as this card represents Scorpio. 
um, you you can take this as each week or the all over energy this could be the energy for you in December this is your general reading and you've got mother uh, of cups here and the mother of cups is of course the queen of cups and she represents a mother figure like the empress and the queen of pentacles she's the nurturer she's the carer she's passionate she's loving and if you are not dealing with a scorpio because she also represents scorpio you've got scorpio three times here or something in scorpio time um, uh, happened that was positive you might be taking a page out of her book but don't forget cancer or pisces you could have seen um, a, a tarot reader or a psychic uh, or somebody that gives spiritual advice as she's also intuitive spiritual and empathic underneath her we've got the eight of pentacles so definitely you might have taken a page out of her book this month or you are taking a page out of uh, her book and you could be working really hard because you might want that pay rise you might want that expansion or promotion definitely money could be coming into you as you've got recognition you could be the one that's been taking care and nurturing the projects or um, a deadline or something like that and you've been recognized definitely by perhaps a woman or a scorpio somebody that is uh, your employer uh, or definitely if you have your own business this could be a client thinking and um, being grateful and recognizing your nurturing site and your customer service it also means that you are in your power and that money could be coming in so definitely um, there is a lot of cards suggesting more money we've also got the hermit um, this is the star card so a wish a dream or a goal could come true you're definitely in the spotlight where there is a spotlight there's also illumination something needs your attention if you're signing official documentation then be careful of the little print get it checked over again we've got Aquarius here Aquarius is also represented by the world so between now and Aquarius, if it isn't a person, uh, there's going to be a mega change. You might take time out, midweek break or a weekend away, or you might be meditating, contemplating and evaluating, thinking about that contract and getting it sorted out. Here we've got a nine. A nine means an ending and a new beginning. Again, you're going up from eight, seven, eight, nine and the 10 because the wheel of fortune is a 10 again an ending you could be seeking advice from somebody that you trust a love and respect this could also be a spiritual guide like you've got two spiritual cards here actually um, you've got number 13 which becomes a four so definitely st stability and productivity are in, is in the air also um, uh, you have number and other number seven but this is the seven of swords so be careful of somebody being deceitful the seven of swords means somebody might have taken something from you or could be taking something from you at the end of december because this is the fourth week i had to put them in here because it doesn't fit on the screen so forewarned is forearmed so and definitely with the star with the illumination make sure that uh, somebody is not pulling the wool over your eyes again we've got two cards here the world card and also the three of wands here um, uh, um, making the danger uh, more softer or not too dangerous but it, it needs your attention okay there is something that might need your attention or is drawing your attention so listen to your intuition like the queen of cups she listens to her intuition the wheel of fortune is number 10 so there is an ending a new beginning something is coming full circle 
also this is the same meaning as the world the, and the wheel is turning in your favor the world is turning in your favor um, you could be meeting a, um, a Taurus a Leo Scorpio again or Aquarius again those are the prominent signs we do have Virgo here as well um, you've got quite a lot of people in your reading so definitely on holiday moving home expansion going on to the next level in romance or in career um, karma card so karma will be returned to you and I think you're going to have good luck with two sevens and also these positive cards okay now I've taken a card from the Oracle deck, let go of the old, what is of no use to you anymore. But don't sit on your laurels, stay active and aware. She's in a daydreaming situation, I feel. She's looking down. And this reminds me of the Four of Cups. So stay alert, especially with the two sevens that we've got here. The Seven of Wands and the Seven of Swords. Don't let anybody take any ideas from you. So play your cards close to your chest. A river of love flows through you when you let go, like the mother of cups, the queen of cups. So don't go against the current, okay? So go with the flow. So let open your uh, solar plex and your heart uh, your chakra you might be meditating contemplating or learning that spiritual side of you to come out and that you can learn to go with the flow and let go of the old and what is of no use to you i hope you've enjoyed this reading take care stay safe and please do uh, subscribe and uh, um, subscribe and give us the thumbs up and share with Please let us get 4,000 views by the end of the year so that we can go into the new year with hopefully monetization super chat. Take care, stay safe and be blessed. Thank you.